So we're salvaging our wallet. So hi everybody and welcome back to the Bitcoin Day Trader channel. And today I want to teach you guys how the salvage wallet option works. In some situations your wallet file could be corrupt and sometimes people advise you to use the salvage wallet function from the Bitcoin Core wallet. What the salvage wallet function does is it tries to rebuild your wallet.dat file. This is only when your wallet file is corrupted. You can try this option. So don't try this option if your wallet is working or else you might destroy your wallet. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. You can do it with a wallet obviously where there is no Bitcoin inside the wallet. But if you have a wallet with Bitcoin and you can still use it, don't use this option. Only use it when you're really in need. Before we're able to do this we have to have a synchronized wallet i don't even know if we have to have it but i am gonna sync it i hope it will speed up because we don't have two hours of time whenever you want to use the salvage wallet option you have to run bitcoin core and you have to give it the option salvage wallet if we want to do that we have to go to our c drive go to your installation place of bitcoin so i think bitcoin is installed here yeah in program files in the folder bitcoin and you see here bitcoin qt.exe so we have to run this file with the salvage wallet option on it and the way i usually do this is i open a new command window so you go to start you type cmd for command open a new window and let's put that window over here then we have to navigate to this folder so you press the address bar here on the top and you see this c double dot slash program files bitcoin you copy it press ctrl c you go to the command prompt you type cd for change directory then you right click with your mouth <laughs> See, then you right click with your mouse and then you will get that path that we just saw here here and then you press enter now we are in this folder if we want to check this we can write directory dir and we would see that we are in the same directory you see bitcoin qt.exe you see here copying.txt and readme and the folder doc and the folder daemon we have to run this file here with the option salvage wallet it's not that hard it's very easy you just write bitcoin and if you press tab it will automatically fill it because it will autofill the thing that you are typing and you have to put salvage wallet and you press enter and now the wallet is starting with the salvage wallet option and this is gonna take a while i have actually no idea what's going to happen because i have never done this before so i have no idea what it's going to do with the wallet but as you see it's rescanning my wallet and well it's salvaging it i don't even know what it means salvage what does salvage mean google translate salvage oh that means saving oh salvage wallet save your wallet i didn't know that save rescue salvage redeem bring off save one's face okay store stow salvage recover okay so it's a kind of your wallet recovery i didn't know that salvage meant that i knew that it had to do with saving your wallet while it is corrupted but i never knew that it would actually mean that and as you can see the bitcoin wallet isn't opening as fast as it did before because before i double clicked it and i was right in the wallet and it said that i had to synchronize it apparently it is salvaging the wallet so i expect it to create a new wallet for well, I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest. Let me check here on my blockchains, because that's where I have my wallet file. So opening a new window, Bitcoin blockchain, is there something happening here? We see a wallet here and we see this wallet.dat back would this be the salvaging wallet file i don't know do you guys know because it is from today you see it is from a couple of minutes ago debug window come on go to the end of this file what's going on ah here you see it this is the logging file and it says here that we have salvage wallet equals one so it's rescanning it and what is it doing using the data directory f bitcoin blockchain using configuration file bitcoin config okay rename wallet ah here rename wallet.dat to wallet.dat.153 well this entire number i think this is our local time or how do you call that um, epoch time that's the that's the word is that our epoch time let me search kind of looks like the same number you see so i think it is our epoch time you see one five three seven yeah that's definitely the epoch time a couple of seconds ago 
So apparently this one should be a new wallet file. Let me check what we can find in it. Oh, it's totally encrypted, obviously, because our wallet was encrypted before, but it is trying to, to fix it at the moment. It's making a new wallet file. It's rescanning everything and it tries to give me back all my private keys and put it back in that wallet.dat file. If it will succeed, then we will still have an encrypted wallet.dat file, but it will be encrypted with the same password that we used before. So that is awesome. I can't even remember the password that I set to this wallet, but I have it in another tutorial. But it doesn't matter because I don't have any Bitcoin in this wallet. That is how you use the salvage wallet option. It's not that hard, it's very easy. <sighs> it's gonna take a while, you see this, guys? Almost 10 minutes ago we started the salvaging and we're just at 3%, so I have no idea how long this is going to take. So I don't actually need to run the salvage wallet. It was just to show you guys how you can do that if you are ever in this in this situation that you need to do this, that your wallet is corrupt. Like sometimes it happens. When do wallets get corrupt? Wallets get corrupt when you Copy a wallet file, for instance, while the wallet is open. If you move a wallet file while you are inside the Bitcoin Core wallet. So when you open your wallet, it actually does something to this wallet.dat file. It, it changes some options. And if you would make a backup of this wallet.dat file, for instance, you save this wallet.dat file and you copy it to somewhere else on your computer while the wallet is open. If you would restore that backup another time, then that backup isn't uh, the right backup because it had been copied while the wallet was open and uh, the wallet file was never closed because you copied it before closing the wallet. So whenever you make a backup of a wallet.dat file, always make sure that you make it while the Bitcoin Core wallet is closed. It should not be open, it should be shut down. Because while it is shutting down, it does something to the wallet.dat file. And if you would copy it while it is open, you will probably get a corrupted file. And that's why you use the salvage wallet option to save that file. You cannot use the salvage wallet option if you, for instance, deleted your entire hard disk and you recovered the file back. Then you probably have a corrupt file and you cannot fix it. So yeah, I hope you guys had something uh, that you could find some information in this tutorial and that you can learn something new today. That will be all for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this small tutorial about salvaging your wallet. And if you did enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I make these kinds of small tutorials every once in a while. And it would be so awesome if you would subscribe to my channel, just so you get notified every time I make a video like this. Thank y'all for watching and see you guys next time. Wow, oh, that was slow. That was very slow, the way I left my computer. I'm gonna close it down. This 4% after 10 minutes, man, I can't wait that long. I'm not gonna finish this, this salvaging, this rescanning and all that stuff. So let's just close it there. Press Q to shut down. I'm pressing Q. See me pressing Q? It's not even shutting down. It's totally ignoring me.